goes Mr. Speed King himself, passing on a curve. Hey, what's the matter, lady? Your arm broken? Hey, hey what's the big idea? All right, pull over there, Jack. You need to hog the whole road. Lady, 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 that stop sign means you. What you're saying is one of the most interesting and important experiments in driver education today. And it proves that some people really do drive like six-year-olds. For example, most of our traffic and motor safety problems are created by a few childishly inconsiderate drivers. Drivers who play childish but dangerous games with everyone else on the road. Lady, lady, that stop sign means you. Well, if bad driving habits are childish, when is the best time to learn to be a good citizen behind the steering wheel? Well, based on the old proverb that as the twig is bent, so is the tree inclined, at Garfield Elementary School in Phoenix, Arizona, a new approach to driving safety education has been developed. School children are learning about the automotive age before they learn their ABCs. State Highway Patrol, Corporal Kerr speaking. There has been an accident at Trimble Road in the expressway. A car and truck are involved. You say two persons have been killed and there are several others injured. Have you called an ambulance? Your name? Telephone number. 640. Okay on the signal 30 en route. Okay on the signal 30 en route. crossing and a pickup truck are the basic ingredients here. When the freight train hit the panel truck, the gasoline in the truck exploded and turned it into a funeral pyre for an aging, hard of hearing farmer. In spite of warnings and education, the toll taken at rail crossings remains foolishly high. Probably the most needless among many unnecessary ways in which to meet death. It was a country road, and although no flasher system was in operation, visibility was good in both directions. The engineer of the train saw the truck approaching and sounded his whistle some 500 yards from the crossing. The elderly farmer who moved carelessly onto the tracks probably never saw, much less heard, impending death. Rail crossings, wherever they are, carry a responsibility to the driver of a car, the responsibility of extreme caution. So the sickening, stiffened, charred mass that once was a man is removed. Every accident has at its base a violation of a traffic rule. Reckless operation could or would impose. While most teenagers behave themselves at the wheel, 
Well, there always has to be someone who's the exception. Someone who hasn't learned that safety makes sense. In the judge's private chambers, the juvenile traffic offender appears with his parents for a friendly but a serious discussion of his case. If he has recklessly risked his own life and the lives of others, his license is suspended. And he's sent to Phoenix's Attitude School for five two-hour classes. In this Attitude School, state, county, and city police officers tell how laws and ordinances are passed by the people for their own common protection. Scientific tests and instruments are used to explain depth perception, reaction time, and muscular coordination, and to emphasize the importance of looking where you're going, of being on your toes, of being careful. Written examinations bring out the fine points of driving. And finally, the Attitude School students ride in patrol cars to see for themselves why safety is important. 